Teachers inspire us in so many different ways. And on today's edition of Be Inspired, we're going to meet a very special teacher who I don't know if she knows, but she and I have something very cool in common. And we're going to introduce her in just a second. Hi again, I'm Burt Barron and welcome to Be Inspired. And I'm Lisa Anderson. Glad you could join us. Wonderful to have you with us here once again. We're going to share stories from folks just like you and I. Stories of love and loss and struggles and perseverance. Laughter and tears. And in today's example, an inspiring story of someone who is very, very special. And let's welcome our guest here this time around to Be Inspired. She is a former gym teacher and now serves at an as an athletics director at St. Catherine School in Spring Lake, New Jersey. She has also collaborated and done some incredible work with a, an organization uh, that is very near and dear to our hearts, Lisa, a little group that is called Miracle Express. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Mir- no way. Really? Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. Part. Yeah, she's here. Ellen Mikesell is here. And welcome, Ellen. Uh, great to have you on Be Inspired. It's great and to be and here. wonderful to have you here. Thank uh, you. As an educator, Boy, uh, so many lives that teachers and I, I owe a lot of my success in my personal life and professional life to teachers who didn't give up on me. And I will always, always be grateful for what they meant to me. Uh, that connection that a teacher has, be it as an athletics person, uh, an educational person, that, that connection is really special, isn't it? It's very special and it's dear to my heart. I've always loved my job. I Even as a young girl, I could tell you probably when I was seven, I I knew I was going to be a health and phys ed teacher. Wow. So I was blessed by that, and I just continued the road. I was very active in athletics, coaching, and uh, went on to college and uh, coached actually at St. Anthony's High School girls basketball team. Uh, back in the early 70s, and um, it was a great, awesome experience. From there, we moved down the shore to have a family, and um, when it was time to go back to work, just by an accident, it was the day day before Labor Day weekend, that Thursday, somebody called me up and said, Ellen, uh, there's a job opening at St. Catherine School. That was 34 years ago. Wow. And uh, I went for the interview, got the job, and, and I'm still here. And there you go. Uh, it, See how that works. Lo- I loved it. I love every minute of it. Now you were in Bayonne, right? Yes. Okay, so you're right over the Bayonne oh. Bridge. I grew up in Elizabeth. Okay, yes, so you're, right over. Yeah, really familiar with in that. In my neighborhood, I, was, I went to uh, Newark State oh, College okay. at the time. Oh, all yes, right. So yeah, great delis there. It. Yes, it is great. Yeah, it sure is. And uh, it's funny when you say down the shore. <laughs> now you, I. I you know, can't imagine going back up north. Like they say, once yes. you go over the bridge, it's a totally <laughs> yes. different world. Right. That's, you know, to me it is anyway. So exactly. glad exactly. you're here. And you're really nice to be a gym teacher because oh. all my gym teachers were really <laughs> tough. They yes. were. Well, I yeah. love it and, and yeah. I still enjoy it. How important, Ellen, do you think uh, physical ed, phys ed is to a child's health and well-being nowadays, you know, in school? Well, really, uh, most people don't think of it as being affecting your entire mental, physical, emotional well-being of yourself. And uh, it doesn't mean you have to be uh, uh, athletic. You just want to be able to be physically educated. And many of the uh, primary skills that you learn as a young child, balance, your movement, has to do with even your academics, your reading, your spelling, your math. Uh So, um, and that continues to progress. Um, our children, where I am now at school, they only have physical education once a week. Wow. So I try to make the most of that 40 minutes that I can with them and to especially help the children who are a little self-conscious. Yeah. To encourage them that (laughs) I always try to say to our our students that this is not a team, it's a class and that we all have gifts from God that we are blessed with. Some she, are she uh, nice the gym. mental, the academic. Some are the social, gabbing all the time, and uh, the physical. And But I think that in life, um, sports does correlate to life, and it helps you to have perseverance, determination, a good attitude, uh, a commitment, dedication, and that's going to give you the life skills you need to for the road when you're yeah. ready to go have a job. 
for this for and you don't have to wear the gym bloomers. And you don't have to wear the gym bloomers. <laughs> you wear the gym bloomers. I, I must have missed that day uh, or something. You mentioned St. Anthony's, this Jersey City. Yes. You taught Bob Hurley everything he knows about oh, basketball, yes, yes, right? Yes, I wow. definitely did. <laughs> what was it like uh, working alongside him? Oh, it was great. It actually, it was Bob. We are old friends, and he had called me up about the position, and wow. I said, I'm jumping on it. And uh, I Terrific. never regretted that situation. Wow. And uh, he was a great coach, person, friend to, to be able to learn from. Really, really. And he's just an amazing just a, man. A, a legend of what oh, he has been able to de- accomplish. And- most definitely. And and to touch each of those kids' lives up yeah. in Jersey City and make help them to be successful. When you surround yourself with successful people, mm-hmm. boy, it really makes a big difference. It really and, does. And one thing in speaking to Coach Hurley, if, uh, just uh, if I could just share a quick story. Uh, he's not good with numbers. He was never good with numbers, <laughs> but he knew your name and your face. And he could tell you every single one of his players – I got about a guy who coached almost 50 sure. years. He knows their families. He knows their careers. He knows what they went wow. on to do in life. And it's important. And I'm sure you have a, yes. a similar connection yes. where it's about these are great athletes, but you know what? We want them to be even greater people. That, that was sort of the approach yes. in coaching for you? Most definitely. Most definitely. And and I I think that's why, you know, you go into it because you do love and you do want to be have an impact yeah. in their child's life and to help them to move forward and be better human beings. And that's nice. I mean, I, I don't understand why they've reduced it to once a week. You oh, know, Jim. well, uh, uh, in Catholic schools, you don't have, a, I am one teacher. At one point, I uh, taught probably almost 700 students. Wow. Yes. That's incredible. Where it's in a, in a public school setting, it's a lot different. They have more physical education teachers. They're able to do that. The only thing I couldn't handle, volleyball, because I never got the ball. <laughs> well, that's you know, a big this sport short. right now. Our kids love it. Yeah, I've well, had, being I've, being five feet, yes, zero yes. inches, I never did get the ball. You need the mini trampoline to do, the, to do a <laughs> spike, right. right? I would love yeah, to see that. Yeah, me too. We'll talk more with Ellen Mikesell coming up, including an incredible collaboration that she spearheaded at her school to assist Miracle Express in their very important mission. Peace or love When the big swells crash be inspired. First, we want to recognize Photo Center in Brick, family owned and operated since 1977. Photo Center carries a full line of digital cameras, camera accessories, and hosts photo classes and workshops. For more info on Photo Center in Brick, that's available by going to photocenter.com. Also, thanks to Chain Gang Pro Performance Clothing, a new local company focused on providing active wear for your active moments. Check out their story and line of products at ChainGangPro.com or follow their journey on Instagram or Facebook by searching Chain Gang Pro. Be inspired, but also like to thank our sponsor, Mike Obertlick from Keller Williams in Shrewsbury. Mike Obertlick services Monmouth and Ocean County. So if you plan on moving to Monmouth County, you got to go to Mo. You can list or sell your home by calling Mike Obertlick at 908-216-0551. Hashtag gotta go to Mo, a realtor you grow to love. Ellen Mike Sell is our guest this time around on Be Inspired. And Ellen, uh, I want to ask you about a collaboration Uh, Regarding your school and Miracle Express, which is just an incredible organization and helping out families here uh, in New Jersey. Talk about what brought the two together and what you accomplished with this collaboration. Well, back in uh, 2017 in the Coast Star, there was an article about Miracle Express. And the uh, young man running it was Michael Doyle, a former student of mine. And uh, being my... uh, that I do these things, I cut out the article and I said, I'm going to get in touch with him. So um, I saved it and then there was, uh, I continued to keep thinking about it. And I approached our principal, Mr. Robert Doherty, about the idea of, of um, you know, really trying to instill in the children yeah. how important it is how and how lucky they are to have right what they have and where we live. And wouldn't it be great to to help out many boys and girls who are less fortunate? So uh, Michael probably was taken off guard when I called Mm -hmm. him, as he has told me. And uh, I expressed the interest and we we would go back and forth for uh, numerous times about us participating. And um, I just took the ball and I went rolling. I mean, I'm just one of those people that I've always tried to give of myself from a young girl. Um, I feel that time is the most precious gift you can give to anyone. Yeah. And um, to also be able to instill that uh, love of 
being able to help anyone else that you might encounter in life and to have, especially young children at Christmas time, to know that they would have this smile on their face when they woke up in the morning and see all these presents. Um, I just really wanted to do something like that. That's a beautiful way to look at life. And I also find, Ellen, that when you ask children to help other children or teens, they jump at the chance. They really do. If they're giving, if they are given uh, something to do, like a a particular thing to do, they just, they want to help. And, and it makes them feel, they get all excited. They, and they get they were really and, and involved. And how, how, I, how yeah. I incorporated that using the children, children was I uh, used the eighth grade. They were my leaders. Wow. And they, um, we had uh, used a sign of genius. I was able to get all the family names from uh, Michael, not the family. Well, I got the family names and their information. And then their ages, and I generated a list using Sign Up Genius for each grade level, and I, I matched up families and the children, and they each brought in a gift. And then the um, we had a uh, gift wrapping day, oh, and the great. older students, the eighth graders, were uh, helping the children with the wrapping. Each of them got to wrap so their great. own present, oh. and we it was it was just wonderful. We had hot chocolate and donuts and. It was just, uh, you know, a great bonding for our school community and the kids, and then also for the for the families that we were able to help, and it was just a remarkable experience. And I was ready to jump on board again next year. There you go, and I'm you know, sure you'll have just as much help. Too. I, I I believe probably yeah. more so because yeah. most parents, most family, um, all our families contributed, and um, they wanted to know when we were starting it again. So. <laughs> You know, Bert, this uh, podcast, Be Inspired, we hear these beautiful stories that come uh, from folks like yourself, Ellen, but it wasn't always easy for you because your husband, uh, he had been a Marine in serving in Vietnam, and thank you, thank him for his service. However, as a result of that, you feel he's had a lot of health issues. You mentioned something about Agent Orange yes. and such. So how is he doing now? And I know it's it's been a really rough road. So for to hear your yes. story, you think, oh, well, she's got, you know, this nice life where she <laughs> helps out. It hasn't been easy. No, it's been, you know, when he was diagnosed, it was obviously uh, very hard on the family just to hear that because you don't know what the future is going to be or when it would you know, kind of end, uh, what the treatments were going to be. But uh, thank goodness um, he has been pretty stable and and he works hard. And, you know, uh, but yes, I think for the family at first. um, He was diagnosed with leukemia? Yes, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Along with skin cancer? Skin cancer. And thyroid thyroid cancer. So it's been a rough road. Yes. Yeah, and he's still busy and active. Yes, he's very active. In yeah. town, etc. Yes, he's on some committees, and he's very active. It's wonderful. He just, you know, he, he takes each day and and has a very positive attitude. You know? I think that's what you. The only thing you can do is is you know have that positive True. attitude and that will to live yeah. and and just take each day, like you said, as yes, a gift. Yes, we're very yeah, we're very grateful, and and um, we have wonderful children and grandchildren. So that's great. It's. Wonderful. Well, the common thread, Lisa, I'm sure you'll agree, amongst all of these series of shows that we've done with Be Inspired is we've meet we've met people from so many different walks of life. And that common thing is we all have downs. We all have yeah. bumps in the road and we all have setbacks. But sure. just to see the way that remarkable people, much like Ellen, who's with us here today, can rebound and move on and make positive differences in the lives of so many other people is really, truly inspiring to me. So uh, as we wrap up, Ellen, really thank you for everything uh, as an educator and a teacher. Uh, I came through the, through the New Jersey public school system mm-hmm. and uh, I did okay, I think. So uh, I'm a member of the Broadcasters Hall of Fame and you yourself uh, are enshrined yeah. in a Hall of Fame. You want to yes. briefly talk about that? Yes. Well, uh, I played in the early 60s, 70s and um, Hudson County has a, a Hall of Fame. And I received a phone call last summer saying that I was nominated into the Hudson County Hall of Fame for my basketball. So I was really, thank you, uh, really excited, thrilled, and uh, honored to be in one of the recipients. Um, There was probably about 18 
of this year, but only uh, maybe five women. Wow. So it was well, truly an honor. Wonderful. That what is... about me? I'm between two <laughs> Hall of Famers here. I got to step up my game. Yeah, Hudson yeah. County, you and some no, guy, no. Frank, somebody or other, right? He was a singer or something. But, oh yeah, yeah, uh, that guy. Remarkable work, Ellen, and really thank you for thank everything you. Uh, that you've meant and you've you've had such a great impact on so many people. So thank you for that, thank and thank you, you for joining and us. It's here my today. pleasure to be here this evening to speak with you. Thanks thank for you sharing for your story. Thank you very much. I'm Bert Barron, and I'm Lisa Anderson, and thank you for watching. Be inspired. Hosted by Lisa Anderson and Burt Barron. Director of Production, Rod Weber. Executive Producers, Rod Weber and Sean M. Sternberg. Creator and Executive Producer, Michael R. Doyle. Also, thanks to Chain Gang Pro Performance Clothing, Michael O'Bertlick from Keller Williams, and the Photo Center in Brick.